Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and I'm going to show this MATLAB example, Estimate Phone Orientation Using Sensor Fusion. So what is this example? Well, this example uses features from Navigation Toolbox to convert IMU sensor data into an estimate of the orientation of your phone. And it also uses MATLAB Mobile to bring the sensor data from your phone into MATLAB. So let's walk through this example. So the first thing we're going to want to do is record some sensor data from my phone. Now, this example ships with a mat file that has some pre-recorded sensor data in case you'd like to just open it and run it right away. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to follow the instructions that are listed at this link here to record some of my own sensor data and process that. Uh, so I'm going to open the MATLAB mobile app on my phone. Uh, I'm going to go to the sensors page. Um, I'm going to turn on the accelerometer, magnetometer, uh, gyroscope, and the orientation filter. And then I'm going to set the sample rate to 100 hertz, like is listed in the example. And then I'm going to record it. And in order for us to see what's going on here, I'm just going to run the phone through a very simple trajectory. So we can see the coordinate frame for the phone is defined this way. So there is an X, Y, and Z axis. So I'm just going to rotate once around the X axis, then rotate once around the Y axis, and then rotate once around the Z. So I'll do that now. So we'll do once around the X axis, once around the Y axis, and finally once around the Z axis. So we'll stop that recording. And I will name this so that it'll show up correctly. Okay, so we'll open up MATLAB Drive Connector to see that the sensor data actually syncs correctly to, from my phone to the computer. So we can see that it has synced there. So great, and I previously configured all this so that this will actually just end up in the folder in which I'm running this example. Okay, great. So now that we have our newly recorded sensor data, um, let's bring that into MATLAB. We'll do a little bit of pre-processing and we'll get our own orientation estimate. So first I'm going to bring the sensor data into these MATLAB variables. Um, and then I'm going to convert the sensor data into an industry standard coordinate frame. So in this case, northeast down, or NED. So next I'm going to just correct for some of the random rotational offset in the phone. So since we don't know what the initial rotational offset is in the phone, we won't be able to accurately compare the AHRS filter object in navigation toolbox with the orientation filter from the phone itself. So we're, we'll just remove that um, initial rotation here. So for our last bit of pre-processing, we just want to tune the AHRS filter so that its noise parameters are optimized for my phone's specific sensor. Um, so we'll use this tune command to do that. Uh, and this is very useful because from phone to phone or sensor to sensor, the optimal noise parameters will differ. So this allows us to get a, the best estimate that we can there. Um, so now that we've done all that pre-processing, we can just pass the sensor data into the AHRS filter, and now we have our own orientation estimate. So next, we'll just look at this in a few different ways. Um, so our first plot here um, is the Euler angles that we got from the AHRS filter object. Uh, and we can see here it seems to be doing pretty well. So we can see that it's rotating once around the x-axis here and then once around the y-axis, and then finally once around the z-axis. So that seems to be doing pretty well. Um, our second plot is actually the orientation estimates from the phone's own filter. And you can see just from a visual inspection, the Euler angles seem to match up pretty well. Um, and then for our third plot here, we'll actually take a closer look at how these two orientation estimates are doing by plotting something called the quaternion distance. 
And the quaternion distance is basically just a scalar metric for the difference between two orientations. So we will generate that plot here. And we can see that actually the AHRS filter and the phone's orientation filter seem to be giving us very similar orientation estimates. So we're within about one and a half degrees. So now that we've looked at all those numeric representations, let's take a look at a, a more visual representation of our orientation estimate. So we'll use this viewer object to just take our orientation estimate numbers and for, convert them to a 3D object. And if you remember, we rotated the phone like this, like this, and then like this. So that is roughly what we should see here in this plot, just to actually make sure our orientation estimate is doing well. So we can see we're rotating once around the x-axis, which is what we expect. Uh, we rotate once around the y-axis, and then finally rotate once around the z-axis. So it looks like our filter is doing very well. So that was the example. Uh, you can see fairly quickly we were able to log some sensor data from our phone, bring it right into MATLAB, process that sensor data through uh, the navigation toolbox's AHRS filter to get our own orientation estimate, and then we were able to visualize it a few different ways. Um, so if you want to try the example out for yourself, uh, there'll be a link in the video description below. And if you're interested in specific features that were used in this example, there are a few additional links there for some of those. Um, thanks for watching.